What's up guys, Chenzo here. So I've burnt a couple of honeybees in the past and if you're familiar with the channel you know that I usually do time lapse videos. But I thought since this is my third honeybee video I would take a different approach today and go a little bit slower and tell you guys more about my process when it comes to burning honeybees. So today I'm starting with the eyes, and I'm just burning in some mid-tones and being mindful to leave a small patch of wood unburned in each eye to indicate a highlight. I'll come back later to add some contrast to the darkest parts of the eyes, but for now I'm just defining the shape and setting in those mid-tones. Next I moved on to the antenna and the legs. I made sure to burn a few shades lighter on anything that lies just behind the wings. I'll start burning the wings next. I'll just outline them and add some sharper lines to fill in the inside of these wings. Then I'll start burning the body of the bee, and by the way I'm not exactly a bee expert so I'll just do my best to explain the bee's anatomy as I go. Here I'm just burning some sharp tapered lines to indicate fur on the bee's back. Then I'll move on to the lower part of the bee's body. I'm making the fur in this area finer and shorter by using shorter strokes. Then I'll start separating the black stripes and fill them in with more short, furry strokes. Now I'll just go back and fill in the antenna and legs leaving a few light patches for the highlights and again I'm being sure to burn anything that lies beneath the wings just a few shades lighter. I filled in the middle of the body with more short tapered strokes and a little bit of shading. Then I moved on to the bee's head, using a random inconsistent pattern to add texture and shading. Now I'm going back over the legs and adding some darker shading for better contrast. I revisited the wings next and added some light shading for texture. I also added some shading on the edges of the lower body to make it look more cylindrical. My camera cut out for a few minutes, but basically I made the sides of the body darker and left some light patches at the center of the body to give it a more rounded look. I thought the bee looked pretty good at this point, but I couldn't resist the urge to add some white highlights just to give it an extra pop. If you haven't noticed by now, I'm not much of a pyrography purist, and I usually feel compelled to add at least some color using another form of media. In this case, I'm just adding some soft highlights with a Prismacolor pencil, then I used a white gel pen to add in some sharper highlights. And that should pretty much do it for this little bee. This is part of a larger work in progress, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the rest of this project. I'll be burning these flowers and probably adding in some honeycomb and lettering to finish this piece up. So as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and sub, and I'll see you in the next one.